Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig and today from our friends at Crafters Companion, I've got the neatest pad here. This is the Make and Send Card Making Pad. This is fantastic and it makes cards just like this. It's got a beautiful inside. And then you guys, it comes with envelopes that you can make too that coordinate. So fun and easy to make, perfect for traveling or for the beginning card maker. So come back and play with this. So let's take a quick flip through this pad, then I'm gonna show you some more ideas and then how to actually put it together. So this is a 12 by 12 format, although these cards measure just under four inches wide. It's like three and seven eighths inches by six inches, okay? And you get four of each design and there are four designs. So technically this makes 16 cards, although I think we're gonna show you a way how to make even more than that. So let's see, look at this. This is the outside of the card right here. And all you need to make this, you guys, is a pair of scissors, some sort of adhesive like a tape runner or glue, and then a little foam tape is nice, but not required. So this is great if you're traveling and you wanna take a craft with you, this would be fantastic. Okay, so here, what you're putting on the outside of the card, then this, you get four of these, this is the inside of the card, borders, and then this is the envelope. Look at this beautiful purple motif, this is so gorgeous. And then we're gonna skip ahead to the envelope part. And then we have this beautiful green, and the envelope, and this one's kind of a mix of green, uh, purples and blues and then the envelope. All right, so let's take a look at this one right here that my friend Debbie made. And I'll find this one in here. It's kind of a peachy one. Here we go, it's the first one. All right, so as you can see, this is the card front, okay? So we're gonna cut that out. And don't worry, at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to put this all together and how to work this. So that's the front. And then all of these are little punch outs, okay? They're already die cut. And then she used foam tape to layer those pieces. And then let's flip back here. And then the envelope, this is how the envelope was cut out. And then she put some of these borders on here. And then some of those little cutting dies. And then this strip right here, that is what goes on the inside. And you can just put a little line of glue right here and leave these kind of open because they have a little pattern right there. All right, so let's take a look at this one that Debbie made. So this one being vertical, this one's horizontal. For this one, Debbie went a little step further. Open that up. And she added some jewel dazzle stickers along the top and the bottom and then a cute little bow. So this is what she used. This is the Pearl and Pastels Fancy Border Dazzle Stickers. They come in all these different colors of both vinyl and pearl. And she used this really nice kind of orchidy purple color right here, right across the top and the bottom. And then we have a selection of 1 8 inch wide grow grain ribbon that just covers all the colors here. And she just used a little bow right here and just glued that down. So cute. And the envelope used one of the little readings right there. All right, so another idea, you guys. Oops. Here's one where Debbie took, this is a new product for us. This is Dazzlem Card Toppers. And this is called the top and bottom design. It's got a design at the top and the bottom. And Debbie took an X-Acto knife on this card and she opened it up and just took the X-Acto knife and went across here. Then she took the card, the outside of the card, this one right here, you know, and she cut it in half. And then she cut this down and she just tucked this here and here, okay, just sort of tucked that in. She used little tiny gold dazzle stickers. Let me find mine. Here we go. These are round jewel dazzle stickers. Just used a little jewel picker. I'll show you more about this in a little bit to decorate that. And then she used right here, these are thin line 
Um, these are actually straight line dazzle stickers and these come in a really fun collection. They're very colorful right here and she used these copper ones. Come on copper. Oh, it's always right in the middle. There we go, she used this one. All right, now if you go into the inside, you can see where she cut that away. So you can just take the other half of that card or you could just use some solid cardstock you might have and use this for another card front. But for now, we're gonna use this one. Get my glue. And you could just take this, some dots of glue. I'm just using Cosmic Shimmer glue, that's our favorite. Put that right there. And then she put a couple of borders here, here, little foam tape greeting. I have another little foam tape greeting right here. You put that right there. So just wanted you to know your friendship is a blessing. And then your card is, is done. So that's just a different idea of what you can do with that. If you're a little bit more experienced card maker, or you just wanna like really go for it. All right, so let's take a look at how to put these together. I've gone ahead and removed these two sheets right here. So as I said, the first thing you need is just a pair of scissors. We're just gonna cut, this is the outside of the card. I love the idea of taking this on vacation and how easy that would be. And then you're just gonna cut this out. And this is going to be the inside. I'm just cutting off these little ends. A paper trimmer would be fast, but I wanted to do this all with scissors because I just really wanted to show you the portability of this. I think that's an important point. All right, so here's the inside. You're just gonna take that, line up those edges. That bone folder is nice, but you could always use the back of your scissors. This as well, we're gonna take this and fold it. Scoring is not necessary because it's got a nice pattern on it. It kind of covers up any of those bumpy things that might be left after scoring, but hey, you could use a scoreboard. All right, just like that. Now we're gonna take just a little line of glue. That, this right in here. And then you just wanna make sure that it's centered on the left and right. Close that. All right, and now you can like right here, right here, you have a lot of nice space there. Okay, just making sure that connects. All right, and then we have all of these lovely borders right down here. I've already cut out some of these, which I think we're gonna use. If I can find them, I've got a buried on my desk. Here we go. So here's one of these little guys right there. Actually, mine's a little different, isn't it? That's okay. And what we can do with this is just glue it right across the top. This is a nice one to use on your envelope as well. So I'm just gonna hold on to that one. But I do have this one right here. And this came from the envelope sheet right here. So let's go ahead and put this one right here. I just like to turn things over and just cut off the rest of that. And then we've got this nice little one with the butterflies on it. Just put that at the bottom. Kind of make that even with the bottom edge. And then we've got our sheet of punch outs here. So, gosh so many pretty things to use. I really like this one. And I really like the thinking of you. 
We can do something like that. One thing I will tell you is that when you punch these out, they do have little tabby things on them. See if you can see these at all. They're just kind of little fuzzies. <laughs> and I just like to take my scissors and just trim those off. Just because it kind of makes your card look, I don't know, like hairy, <laughs> if that makes sense, without it. Especially if you're using some foam tape to pop it up. I think those really show. So I just like to trim those off. You can use your edge of your fingernail as well. All right, so we're just gonna glue this one down. Right there. And then I like to use the giant roll of foam tape. There are 150 yards or 50, no, there's um, 150 feet or 50 yards on this. So that's a huge savings for foam tape and that's why I like to recommend this all the time. However, if you're traveling and you wanna go small, we also have these little squares and there's 400 of these on here and they're already like pre-cut. You just pull the little adhesive off. So there's so definitely some options there. I'll link both of those at the bottom of the video. And then this is half inch wide foam tape. It fits very nicely on there. I'm just gonna put that thinking of you right there. And then there's also some really beautiful butterflies on this sheet, We've gotta use those. This time I'll just take my fingernail I'll just kind of go those little fuzzies away. Let me know in the comments if you guys, if those little fuzzies or little tabs that hold those on, does that bother you? Do you remove those as well? Or am I the only one who does that? I'd be interested to know. Is that just like my little OCD with that? Or does anybody else do that? All right. We've got our cute little butterflies love that right there and then from the 1 8 inch ribbon pack I've just got a little bow that I've pre-made and we can just add that right there the top of that little floral wreath that's so cute Actually, I think I'm gonna move my butterfly because it's too close to my bow I'll move that down there all right and then let's talk about the inside thinking of you and then let's see what can we put in there let's do this friendship one I like that and then a couple of flowers as you can see this is all like for one card this whole thing is supposed to be for one card and there's so many on here you guys there's no problem using these for other crafts and other cards that you're making. There's also a ton of borders. So I feel like this is a really great value. All right, we're gonna open that up. And we could definitely put something right here. We could take these little guys, kind of put them on the corners. And then you could even take more, put them in here. Could do a little just for you or it's time to celebrate is a nice idea for a birthday. There we go. All right, so our card is done. Now let's take a quick peek at the envelope. So for this envelope, go ahead and you can cut this out. It's got the little notches that are gonna show you and it's got the little fold line. So I've gone ahead and done this. So we've got our fold lines. So this is the inside of your card. The one with the fold lines is the outside. So what you're going to do is fold this one. I like to kind of fold it like this so we can see where we're folding on the lines. 
There we go. All right, so, oops, here's the top, which I really like. It's got this nice embellishment on the inside of the flap when it's opened. So for an envelope, these little flaps go in first and this flap goes up. And then I like to put my adhesive or my glue here because if I put it on this one, I'm apt to get some in this area and then it's gonna glue your envelope shut. So you wanna do it like this so that you have a nice opening there, okay? And then this can fit right inside there. And then you could take, this has got a really nice embellishment here, but you could absolutely take things like this border and glue this across the bottom and just sort of jazz this up a little bit. You wanna be careful not to use any foam tape on the outside of your envelope because it will get caught when mailing. Nobody wants that. Okay, that is just ready to go. I love this for a beginning card makers. If you have a friend who's wanting to get into card making and they're not sure about what to buy, this would make a fantastic gift for them, you guys. And if you're traveling, you're taking a cruise, doing something like that where you can't bring a lot of stuff with you, throw this into the suitcase. Um, when you're traveling, it's super thin. This would fit in your carry-on. And that, and I guess you could have to pack your scissors, but then you would have, you'd be ready to go. So you guys, we have a great money saver on this collection. I would really encourage you to check that out. It's over on the right-hand side of the screen. And all the items that we used, the ribbon and the dazzle stickers and everything are listed down below the video. And if you're watching us on YouTube, we haven't forgot about you. Look below the video in the description box for the link that'll take you to this Paper Wishes webisode page. And while you're there, a thumbs up is great. It helps people find our channel, you guys, and subscribe. We do four to five videos a week, and we wouldn't want you to miss a thing. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.